This is the next deep seek for audio and video. This company straight out of China, Shanghai, just dropped two different models. They are state of the art commercial licensed models on Hugging Face. The two models are one is the text to video model and then they've got voice chat model. Just, you know, the advanced voice mode on chat GPT. But this is completely open source. Both these models are available for us to try, but they require a lot of GPU. So in this video, I'm going to give you everything that I know about these two models and what do we know about this particular company that just came out of nowhere. The company's name is called Step Fun. I guess this is like the name Step Function, which is a popular thing in deep learning. Maybe I'm overthinking. Step Fun is said to be a company that has been founded in April 2023 with a mission to scale up possibilities for everyone. It's a fancy mission. If you see the company, they have released a bunch of models today. And uh, today, depending upon where you are in the world, it's got an audio chat model. It's got an audio TTS as text to speech model. And it's got an audio tokenizer. This is on the audio front. And on the video front, you can see that the, the company has released a text to two video turbo model and a text to video full size model. And some couple of weeks back, they had an OCR model, which we did not pay attention to. So these are the models that the company has released and the quality of these models are completely amazing for open source model. Like there's a website where you can go generate. I've not registered here. You have to add your phone number and then do it, which I was not very comfortable with. But if you see a couple of samples, it is super amazing. Like look at this race. Uh, this is like a, you know, a telecast TV cast of it. And it is quite insane. I mean, you can still see the anatomy of human body changing, but it, it's a zoomed out version. It is it is quite good and uh, you can see here again the model is trying to keep up with the physics of it and it is doing a decent enough job um, not like uh, unbelievable job but decent enough job but if you see this particular video where an astronaut is trying to bounce the ball on moon uh, I don't know the gravity how it would look like but it is again a good model. I mean, it's an open model. The model is available and the model weights are available for people to download and use it. So this is built on a model called Step Video T2V, text to video. It's a state of the art text to video pre-trained model with 30 billion parameters. And it has got a capability to generate up to 200 frames. In one second, you typically have 30 frames per second for a 30 FPS video. But you know, some, there are like different variations like 45 FPS, 60 FPS. But if you just take a 30 FPS, then it is 30 frames for one second. Now, because this model can generate 204 frames, which is coherent without a lot of frame interpolation, then it means it can generate close to seven seconds of a video clip using the 30 billion parameter model. Before I move further, I would like to show you the GPU requirement so that we set the expectations correctly. So this model requires about 80 GB of a GPU memory, the VRAM that you need to run this model is at least 80 GB. And then it gives the time it will take like with 50 second, 50 steps with flash attention, it will take 743 seconds without flash attention. It will take 1232 seconds for this particular height and width on the frame. And uh, for a lower grade, then it requires just 600 steps without flash attention. So if you manage to find a GPU that supports flash attention, then uh, you can have the most efficient video, which is uh, in this case uh, using flash attention 400 seconds. So this is the computation requirement. But again, if you see the model quality, the model is quite amazing. The model is available for you to go download from Hugging Faces model hub. This model also comes with a smaller version, which is a turbo version, which is supposed to generate videos faster, may not have the best quality like the bigger model, but it is supposed to be faster and more comput computationally efficient. We don't have a lot of information about how the model's uh, computation requirement for the turbo version is, but the model is the turbo version is also something that they've open sourced in the turbo version and the bigger model for the video model. It has been open sourced with MIT license, but the audio model, if you happen to see the audio model comes with Apache 2.0 license. So the audio model comes with an audio chat. So this is like an end to end chat, very similar, like what you do with advanced voice mode with chat GPT, you can speak to it it can speak back to it. So it's basically an end to end speech to speech pipeline. We don't have a lot of open source models in this particular category. If you remember, there is a model called Moshi. Uh, I think I covered this a uh, few months back. So it is very similar concept like Moshi. And you can see that this model does a much, much better job than any other model in this particular class. So they're comparing with GLM4 voice. Quentu audio, which I've not used before. Moshi is something I've used before. 
and step audio chat has got a much bigger uh, much bigger score than any other model that is available in this particular category so this is a 130 billion parameter multimodal model so when they say multimodal it's right now speech to speech but i think they might be probably training more modalities given the size of the model that they're building so this model is designed to integrate with uh, speech recognition semantic understanding um, voice cloning and speech generation the model should ideally have good understanding of speech and also it should be able to generate speech if you were to see more details on how the model is what kind of architecture they have got more details around it and in terms of the gpu requirement for this particular model for step audio chat you need at least 265 gb so it's it's not something that you can easily run on any um, you know powerful gpu it requires probably a gpu cluster for you to run this the tts model though uh, requires only 8 gb of memory so there is something that we can definitely try out in the future so only if you want to do text to speech the model is available and it can run on an 8 gb gpu memory vram and the chat model requires 265 gb which is quite huge uh, but the model is available so they have uh, trained it they, they have uh, they've got a recommendation to use it using four a 100s or four h 100s so each if it has got 80 gb so four is like 320 gb and you can generate it with a better quality so these are the two models that this company has released if you see the detail about the company we don't have a lot of information to be honest this is the English translated version of their uh, Chinese website. And uh, if you go see here, they're talking about, uh, you know, step one, v, which we have not seen them open sourcing. Um, probably it is available within their platform. Hundreds of billions of parameters of multi-modular model. This is something that they also mention here. So if you see here, this company has launched a se series of step foundation model, which includes step two, uh, cutting edge trillion parameter mixture of experts language model we have not seen before. It's not available on Hugging Face either. Step 1.5V, which is a powerful multimodal large language model. And Step 1V, which is an innovative image generation model. So none of these models are available, at least at this point of video recording. What we have is the audio chat and also the video generation model. If you want to do video generation, you can go to this platform, register yourself and do video generation. Like I said, I'm not registering here because you have to register with your own website whatever that you uh, post here so it, you have to add your uh, you know number here so i i was not ready to do it but you can see the samples here the samples are quite good the quality of the video is quite good i wouldn't say it is at the level of you know pika labs or uh, or uh, the state of the art ai labs but for a model that is of this size for a 30 billion parameter model i would say this is super amazing good and i cannot wait for this API in point to appear on file or replicate where we can easily use it. But otherwise, this is a complete shocker. We have not heard about this research lab or the company. They seem to be also very interested in hiring. They've got a campus recruitment. They've got a social recruitment. Either way, it's a new company. Um, probably could be the deep seek for the audio and video. I can't wait to try more of these models, possibly on a larger GPU if I can manage to find out. But let me know what you feel about it and uh, feel about the video quality of these models. See you in another video. Happy prompting.